Welcome to the video, my friends. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to take another look at Hunter's Uprising. Now, the last time I looked at this was an interview with White Rabbit, and since then, I've actually joined the team as an environment artist, also working on some animations with our programmer, Danny. So there are only actually three of us working on the game so far. In about three and a half months, this is what we've managed to achieve. We are looking for somebody that knows their way around audio so we can get some nice audio going, as well as animation system in Unreal Engine just so it can take a little bit of weight off of us that are, are trying to work on the environment programming and trying to learn <laughs> animations and everything as well at the same time. It's a, wow, it's a bit of a headache at some time. So if anybody's willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. Volunteer some some help towards uh, figuring out these, these two areas mainly. Just hit us up in the Discord and we can have a chat. But with all that said, I hope you enjoy this little bit of footage and an update on Hunter's Uprising. I love when you can animation So what shall we go over first? Weapon animations just quickly while we're here with a weapon. No, yeah, I think we can. Wow. So yeah, so the last few days, uh myself and Danny have been working hard getting these animations all set up. So we've got some attachments on and weapons animated. So if I press inspect, we can get a nice animation here with our weapon. And we can also do an ammo check on a separate key. And there's no HUD, so hopefully we can set up like a an ammo count that will pop up when you check the ammo on that on that animation at some point. We've also got our pistol animation set up now with our new pistol. So it does a nice animation of nicely swaps back and forth between the two, which wasn't in the last time I think we showed anything. Nice. Yeah. New pistol reload. You can weapon check, weapon inspect. So at the moment, we've not implemented when you fire, it uh, empties the mag and you've got to manually reload. It does a different reload, though. That's a different reload when it's empty. It does it automatically. We haven't set it up yet. But for a quick reload, if you fire a few rounds and it's it's a par partial mag. It'll do a quick tactical swap. Um, but we have got animations to set up and plug in, and uh, it's quite a quite a task, isn't it, to get them all set up and, and running how we like it. So those will come over time. Um, we've had some uh, big updates, though. We've had a, a little bit worried we was going to be delayed massively, but. We had a load of new, uh, well, an update to the Post City asset pack that we're using, um, which on a plus side, a lot higher texture materials on the vehicles and things, but it's kind of broken our roads a little bit. The texture's not right. The old roads were better, um, but we've also got paved roads now, so I can have paths in the residential without trying to make one myself. Uh, oh, yeah. Rabbit also made a whole new landscape with new landscape materials because we thought... We wanted, we, you know, once we started making it, we thought, let's go one better and wanted some higher detail stuff. So we've got rocks that can be placed about, mud, new mud. Uh, and it just makes the landscape, as you can see, a lot more detailed and a lot more alive kind of thing. We can add a lot more, like, with, like hard-worn areas would be, like, kind of muddy where lots of feet have been. We can add rocks. And the good thing is we've got a whole separate biome as well, which we could have a quick run up and have a look. There's nothing there really to see. It's just empty barren land at the moment, but there is a separate biome that Rabbit's created with this new uh, foliage landscape system that he's implemented. I've started adding in like where where people will be running in the, in the doors up driveways. And some rocks either side the drive, maybe. I don't know. Some detail with the new system, just playing with it a bit. We also figured out we could flip the police cars on their side, on their roof, and randomize them. So that was quite a cool little trick. Added some manhole covers with smoke. Uh, in the future, the plan will be to add a full sewer system underneath. We're just waiting to be able to grab hold of a good sewer system. It'll probably be the prop house one when we can. Uh, but for now, 
just manhole covers is all we got. But but we we do want to do that in the future. Uh, one one thing from the post city update is we got new post vans, which is quite cool. So we got a variety, uh, different variety of vehicles we can dot about. Oh, we also got the uh, I think the post boxes were new as well. We got post boxes added about. Did break a, through. a few things though that we used in like the skyscraper in downtown is completely reset. Uh, after all the work Rabbit put in putting breakable glass, the dynamic glass system we've uh, we showed off before, that's kind of all gone now because we've got to do it all again. We actually don't have to. Oh, you don't? Is it not not as no, bad as it first looked? Uh, yeah, the glass is still there. I need just to get rid of the glass that is again put to the buildings. So I need to find out where it is to destroy it basically. Oh, uh, my shop door won't open. Did the doors... Oh, the yeah, hotel these fixed? are not changed yet. But the hotel one should work. Yeah. I will be sending kind of the update in like five minutes. So we can show more, but I need to figure out where was the blueprint spawning the doors. Uh, not the doors, the windows. Uh, Denny? Oh, we got a bit of a storm rolling in. So, for those that don't know, we're doing dynamic weather as well. Little roll in, 40 minute match time, 24 hour day cycle. Do get night time, random storm will come in, we've got fog rolling in. Bit of a storm going as well. It's not the full thunderstorm, I think, just a bit of heavy rain, but... Been working on the school here as well. Doing a kind of rough layout at the moment. There's the uh, janitor Fred there. He makes the place nice and tidy for visitors. So this will kind of be like a boss area in the gym here. Which of course needs fully redoing, decorating and things like that. And uh, probably, again, do similar to how Hunt Showdown does it with uh, it's random. So if there's not a boss here, it will look kind of normal like this. And if there is, it will kind of look bossy. But there's, there's quite a lot to this school. Needs a lot more work. There's empty rooms we got to fill out. It's a pretty cool addition. Excuse the frame drops in the editor. Yeah, I think they can see that the performance is actually quite good. When yeah. You think about. It. Yeah, we've had an increase in performance since the last time we've showed anything. Uh, it's probably twice, twice the FPS that we had last time. And more detail. So I don't know. Uh, don't know what happened, but but it happened. So uh, there you go. So if we can make it into the city without it going over budget. So as you can see, the roads kind of got broke in the last update. So they're very weird looking, but we'll we'll get we'll fix that. Oh yeah, Jason, show him. Oh, the gobbos. Movie poster. Is Luke is not there at the moment, or is it not rendered in? It should be there. It's not rendered in. See, you don't have like anything loaded actually there. Yeah. Oh, it's still loading at the minute. There we go. There it is. It will be visible through the wall map.
Yeah, by the way, Lukic was asking about the laser, if you can turn it off. Uh, can I? T oh, you, you can. You have there even the flashlight. Oh, what? I do? Yeah. When would you say, let me this? Okay, T to turn late. Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't even know I had that. Okay, I'll wait for the hotel to load. Loading the yeah, we did it stuff. with Danny. Actually, Danny did it. I was just telling him how it should work. <laughs> I cut all this bit out. At least people can see that it's a real game. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, there's all these little, uh, little hitches live on stream. Yeah, but like... You can do actually one more thing. Oh, what? And you can update because I'm just sending you the update with the hotel to be fixed. Oh, is it not fixed? Yeah. Then I found it. Again. Oh, we can see the new flashlight though. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Let me see if the elevator will work quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Needs music. <laughs> Yeah, if we had elevator music there, oh my god, that would have looked so good if it didn't come out of the elevator into a PS. <laughs> oh, you see that? That's a screenshot material, mate. Oh, that looks nice. Hello, Olive. Yeah, the windows are fucked because that's the old version. Yeah, they did an update to the Post City. They did a lot of improvements, but they also broke a lot of our progress, so... Kind of set us back a little bit with a few things, but hey, the the elevator works. But that's separate yep. though. That's that's. Show it, don't leave. <laughs> Go back down. Oh no, it's not a teleporter. It actually physically moves <laughs> to each floor. Um, what I'll do before loading the whole map and doing an update is I'll go to your rivers. That shouldn't be as bad for yeah. loading. Yeah, it shouldn't be. I'll keep an eye on this weather system. Yeah, we have new buildings there again. But you can show that like after the load. Oh yeah, the coffee shop and the... Yeah, everything basically yeah. is where I made again. All new buildings. Your deer's not. Well, your deer's in the ground, okay. Take that back. <laughs> My deer's floating and yours is stuck in the ground. <laughs> well, he wanted to drink, you know, and he had to go lower. <laughs> yeah. so this is the new uh, northern exit uh, from the downtown that. Oh, oh, yeah, you got a funny collision here, I forgot to say earlier. Yeah, it's still on one thing, I think. Yeah, one side of the road, I think, he's got a collision. Uh, mm -hmm. So this goes all the way from downtown to the prison. Still a uh, very much work in progress. A lot more cars and debris to be added. Oh yeah, it's loading. Yeah. <laughs> That's cars uh, on this road here. How long is the day cycle set? Like, it's, it uh, yeah, it's half an hour and 15 minutes is night. Oh, it's 45 hours? minutes entire. Oh, 45. Okay, nice. Yeah, 45 minutes and basically 24 hours during those. Well, 
during those 45 minutes. Like, this is basically, at least for me, the biggest change when you compare it, for example, with Hunt. Like, during the night, it will be really scary and creepy, so it will be different. Yeah, it's proper scary. I heard see flashlights, monsters, whatever. Creeper crawlies. Well, not I keep saying creeper crawlies. I don't want creeper crawlies. Uh... <laughs> But as you can see, the the thing is like the nights are much darker than if in, for example, hunt. So that adds to creepiness actually. And like when we will have all the NPCs we want there, and like in state that we will be able to show it to you, I think you will be surprised, guys, because during the day it will be like yeah, that's not that bad. But during the night you will be like Ooh, <laughs> running away. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Yeah, I think you are actually going towards the river. There is quite a lot of like, you know, points that you can like, you know, use for uh, coordination. But there will be even like um, the interactive map, basically, we talked about already. But you will have to really look into the map. It will not be just like, you know, press M and show the map like uh, in hand, for example. You will have a little work with it. Yeah, this is the new river. So we could have some little, uh, like, bandit camps here, like somebody was maybe having a riverside camp out or something with some supplies. And loot for some people. Just adds a bit more ambience, a bit more sound effects and things. And nice natural detail. Head tree. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I did put some dead trees there too. I wanted it to look nice. Tree monster type of thing there. Yeah, the lights in the forest will be interesting if you will be like using the flash or not. It will be like dangerous both ways when you think about it. Without the light you will not know where you are going, you will have like problems. But again you will see probably someone who is using the flashlight like the first, so that will help you. But again like it's more dangerous going in the dark. I love those new animations, guys. You are doing a great job. <laughs> Looks like we got a bloody storm. Need to fix those windows. Yeah. That's loud. <laughs> As for the storm, Orif, thank you, because we want the storm to really affect the gameplay. We don't want it just to be like, you know, uh, just something that is there and does nothing. Every weather we have actually affects the gameplay in every way. That's the other thing that we have like dynamic weather changes during the gameplay. So during the every match, 
the weather can change basically anyway. Seems a bit bright indoors, the RDS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't see shit. Looks okay. Yeah, outside. we have to change that scope anyway. Yeah, so it allowed for a 40 minute match and then the day night cycle over that 40 minutes and there'll be a random weather event as well during that time. There might not be, it might just stay foggy the whole time. But uh, yeah, you'll either have like rain or a rainstorm like we're having right now. It's just general fog. And uh, yeah, it should be a really nice dynamic time and we want the weather to actually impact like Rabbit says. So you ain't gonna hear anything and you're gonna wanna hide, take cover somewhere maybe, or really be aware of your surroundings. Uh, you're going to lose at least one of your senses in this kind of thing because you can't see very far with this fog kicks in. At least you can get a bit of a uh, quiet when you go inside a building. A bit different when you're outside. Another thing is uh, the weather affects even the landscape. So basically right now it's cre creating the uh the puddles on the ground and you can step into them it will make the sound ripple everything i think you have some puddles even before you just oh yeah there's puddles down here somewhere probably too much grass oh, yeah it's But we have to speed it up. <laughs> yeah, it's the slowest teleporter in the world. That would mean elevator, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me saying it. <laughs> He's caught us out. <laughs> Ooh, hasn't loaded the roof yet. Yeah, uh, I think it disappeared. With the update of the oh. building. Uh, round doors fixed? Yeah, uh, these doors are fucked. Oh, okay. We need to fix these doors and the roof. Yeah, this is our dynamic glass for those that haven't seen it on previous dev streams. Dynamically breaking glass that shatters where you shoot it. Excuse the FPS at the minute, it's still loading the skyscraper. Floor by floor, apparently. So yeah, that's something we're pretty uh, pretty proud to have implemented, and it's all this all works multiplayer side. So yeah, the games for those again update. Um, I think we're aiming for sixteen player extraction survival game, and all this is uh, most uh, all buildings are going to be loot lootable, but not all rooms in every building because that's we've got to keep it realistic for performance reasons and things. And of course, ignore the performance in the ed ed editor at the moment because it's always like double when you actually build the game at least and it gets rid of all the errors you might be getting in the editor and things like that and optimize are you going for the construction oh we can go and have a look at construction yeah i always forget about it because it's hidden behind this building <laughs> oh my god i can't get my fat ass out there Oh, maybe it's the collision newly on the building. Yeah. Ah, collision, yeah. Yeah. He changed the collision, so well, I have to delete it again. There's a construction site out there, guys. <laughs> so, since our last stream, at least, it's been, well, probably about a week. And uh, I think the elevator was in last time, but these animations are all new. Uh, the police station fully done is all new. And a new coffee shop and thing.
PD's just there, coffee shop just there, we'll have a look at this in a sec. We got a full on storm coming again. Yeah, it's autumn, so there is a high chance actually. Yeah, we are using the plug-in Crazy Ivy actually. Oh yeah, well spotted. Let's get inside quick. We can show even the armory. Uh, so yeah, Priest, we do want a sewer system. We're probably going to go with the prop house sewer system, but it'll be down the line and we'll do uh, under the residential and uh, down to downtown. We want a lot of this uh, elevation, like um, vertical gameplay as well as horizontal, which uh, the others don't really do, and it'd be a great inspiration from Miscreated as well. I love the verticality in downtown in Miscreated for those that played that game. It's one of my favorites of other games, so if I can bring back that feeling from them days, we'll, we'll, we're, we'll be good. So that's where we want to go with that kind of thing. That's place sold a floppy disk in uh, in place of a access card. Get into the armory. There's potentially weapons spawning in here that you can loot. We haven't got our loot system in just yet, but you can't open that door unless you've got a key card. Should be pick up mm -hmm. What? It is pick up No, not that one, I guess. No? Not is this it? one. Not this one. Uh, but we do have some. Uh, <gasps> I'm yeah. locked in. So yeah, this is the PD rap has been working on adding uh, effects like the flickering tubes. Adds a bit of spooky sound to it. Have a run through. It's still loading part of the map out there, so. Is there again a broken light for you? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Why are you the only one that has this? I don't know. Ah, we've mentioned monsters before. <laughs> you bloody put one in to scare me. And it was absolutely worth it. Looking good. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, so yeah, like with any building, there'll be multiple access points. You'll be able to come in through the fire exit into the roof. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't even have to scare you today. This is an all new building that Rabbit's put into the downtown coffee shop here. Well, if they are actually on his uh, Discord server. Oh, yeah, you got to fix this uh, floating glass, somebody pointed out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there'll be things like weapons spawning in these weapon racks and things dynamically, randomly. You can open these lockers. Loot will be in there. 
but yeah, we, we've gone over it before on stream. It, essentially, you're going to have like zombies and stuff about. There's going to be uh, AI with guns as well, which is going to be kind of like kind of bandits, kind of cultisty type characters that are kind of because if you notice, there's a wall, a massive wall, kind of like Attack on Titan, all the way around this map, the one kilometer square map, and we're cut off from the main big city out there, but it's all apocalyptic. Because some shit went down inside here, so this was like the danger zone that's been walled off because it's the worst area. Um, and as far as we we've said so far, I think is the cult is to kind of like trying to re 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 um, release what's in this walled off section um, out to the world. And there's these hot spots all over the planet, so that'll be potential for you know other map ideas in the future. These other walled off zones. So kind of all all around we could be pretty creative with that and then uh so you'll go out and there'll be monsters about uh, zombies maybe other creatures that are kind of like that a little bit like spooky uh they'll out your little all kinds of noises out in the wilderness and nasties think hunt showdowns ai with their monsters and things but we're going in a totally different direction so they've gone um i don't want to say too much on the monsters want to wait till they're actually implemented and show you and su surprise you with all that stuff when the animations are in and sound effects and things are pretty cool to showcase um but the yeah we got that boss area like i said uh at the start in the the gym to the school will be a boss area level two of the hotel will be a boss area where we went up in the elevator um it's a big like you can see it's laid out by rabid uh, you can kite a boss round similarly to hunt but we want a kind of like harder experience with the bosses like maybe a three stage type thing two or three stage harder boss uh so if another team of players kind of approach you you're gonna have a hard time i mean you do in hunt so it's something you really want to think about all the time and uh you'll have your normal loot system like other survival extraction games where you die you lose it all if you get out you'll have a backpack you can fill it up with loot medical supplies guns attachments and uh or your boss uh your part of your boss like the finger from a certain boss that you'd have to extract with but that will have a decay system which we're going to try and implement to avoid camping in a boss location as we see a lot with hunt probably tarkov has it as well with labs where people get the boss but then they camp in a corner and shoot with a shotgun in the back of the head as you come in if you get the boss and you've got it on you it starts decaying so i say First minute is worth maximum. Last five, last minute of like a five or ten minute counter is worth the least to where it rapidly decays once it's been killed. So you want to get out and extract with uh, the the quickest time possible for that trophy that you've taken from the boss. Maybe it's finger or it's head or, you know, a hide or something like that um, to, to have maximum worth uh, at the trader uh, when you extract kind of thing. That's where we're going anyway and we'll try and hopefully combat camping and we want to try and come back cheating as much as possible we've got to think a lot about the economy um so far it's going to be very similar we're going to have a safe house out of game safe house that you can upgrade and craft and all that things in first person and walk around your own base um but also have like an economy similarly to hunt because i think i think we've we've said theirs is best for just cheaters not being interested a lot of the time whereas tarkov's economy is cheat a heaven and it, uh, it's, it's just so terrible so we want to kind of go in that more hunt direction with that kind of thing to avoid cheaters just having any interest as for a hunger and uh, there's uh, we were talking with Danny today about it and we will see like uh, what even you guys think about that mechanic we can add it but we don't want to add it like like something that you will have to use actually it should be something like uh if you eat for example in the game you will get like a 10 minute boost for the uh, stamina uh, recovery yeah. so it will be recovering faster yeah so you could do like i think we want to go with a heavy inspiration from hunt in that way where mm -hmm. their, their loot system and, tool and consumable system and tool system is so quick and easy to use it's not complex you're not stumbling with what to use so say you'd have a snack that you'd find, you'd pick up, and if you ate it, you'd have like an energy bar that'd boost your stamina, like Rabbit says, for five minutes. And then if you found like a drink of soda, it'd give you like, I don't know, a, something else for five minutes. Um, like medical supplies wise, you'll have a bandage that will stop bleeding. 
um, and it slowly uh, and fill up a bit of health. You'll have a, a syringe injector like this one that will do full health or like 75% health. And then you'll have like a painkiller that will slowly rebuild your health. And then like have those three, not over overly complicated. Like Tarkov has like 50 different bandages and you never know what to use. And then different tools like a hand grenade, a flashbang, a smoke bomb, maybe a claymore and things like that. Just modernized versions of what, what Hunt does. Um, we're just coming into the, the new biome, by the way, that we've added. So the other half of the map where the mountain areas are, we've got this big redwood forest. Uh, second biome is still very much work in progress. There'll be log, log cabins and bandit camps and other things and other big points of interest up here. Probably have, like, um, do we think our industrial, like, maybe a, mm -hmm. uh, a big industrial area will be up in the redwood. Kind of look like um, maybe a, like a login compound, maybe, kind of thing. Go for go for that kind of look up in this area yeah the important thing to say is like guys this forest is really realistic this is a redwood forest there really exist in America for example because we are using basically the first map is based in the America so there is two biomes that are really found in America and they can be meshed together So you can see it's kind of over the other side of the river. The, the prison is on its own little kind of private island over the river and over the bridge. So it's kind of cut away from the rest of the map, just like a prison usually would be. Kind of like an Alcatraz type of thing, but slightly less water between. The prison at the moment is full of trees. I still haven't tidied the trees out where we have the new landscape and forest added. So it's a bit of a mess at the minute. But... Uh, still need work as well because we want a, a potential boss location in there as well but i need to make it bigger what, what i want as the boss location so i'm going to increase the size and uh, make it kind of worthy of going there kind of thing for loot as well for military loot like tents and things and blue spawn locations but yeah the ground as you can see totally changes in this area it's a lot more like a redwood type of ground a bit more but kind of just a different vibe to this area so and like we said before with our areas being so huge compared to other games even Tarkov you might not even see out of downtown a whole match that might be your whole match in downtown or you know you might not even see the whole of downtown in just one match before you've got to get out and extract and then you've got all this area as well which I'm walking over which uh, we've not really shown off because we've not done anything over here. It's just barren kind of woodland. You can see the big wall over there. Like a Attack on Titan wall at the distance. And we could potentially have like maybe a different type of monster that, that could be out here as a threat. Roaming the lands in the Redwood Forest that would be, you know, like different to us down there, so... I think zombies is about as close as we're going to anybody else, really, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a bit more like um, folklore slash Lovecraftian spooky. Uh, Supernatural is probably the best yeah. thing Rabbit said. That's uh, inspiration. So if you know uh, Supernatural is a TV series, and uh, yeah, going to try and go that direction as much as we can with the, with the tools that we have, because as you know, we're using the Unreal Marketplace. We don't have an animator or a modeler or anything like that at the moment. So we're using what we can with uh, from the Unreal Marketplace, buying packs and things that we think will suit our game. So full, full transparency as always. We're, but we are making things custom as much as you know we possibly reasonably can. Because sometimes when you get a pack, you don't get much choice in what you can make with it, really. So you just use it as is, kind of here and there. But for the most part, everything... Like the residential area, you've seen that pack, but it's just literally their demo level. Put it into a, another game and then sold for five pound on Steam. My residential area is totally custom built with those assets, so you won't see a repeat of that in any other game. The assets, yeah, you'll see those somewhere else, but you won't see those assets placed the same as where where by now in the residential area. But yeah, we're getting up towards the mountains now. And uh, up here will be more, again, different, like log cabins, and you'll have some cool things up here that'll be in mountains. It's all barren. There's nothing up here, but... Oh, you have a little 
sneaky sneaky peek up here, as it's not uh, been really shown before. Jason, you can go actually on that cliff that is like uh, near the underground, and you will see basically on the city from there. That could be a nice view. It might not load because of the partitioning. I don't even know if I'm yeah, going the right way right of... now. Yeah, we have quite a lot of space actually on the map still. And I think you are not going in the right. I think this you way? need to go that more to the right. right, yeah. I don't know. Do you want a sneak peek of the boss area that's up here? Yeah, we can show it. Yeah, it's not going to load because of the partitioning. Oh, I know. I can see the school. Residential, but downtown's too far away. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 it's loading a bit. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, school needs a lot of work. That's um, not been touched really, other than the outside. But as you can see, guys, we have like huge cliffs like this, and you can see like almost the entire map with it. But you don't have to worry about the snipers, for example, only. Because, like, in those woods, it will not be easy to shoot someone. Yeah, they got the, um... Yeah, yeah there'll be snipers and things, but once this fog rolls in and things, you, you ain't seeing anything. Like, like, it's disappeared over there. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. Spooky. Yeah, the missed game. I think we've got the default run animations for the AR as well, I just noticed. I don't think mm -hmm. I replaced them. Yeah, it's not replaced. There's quite a way between boss locations. So this, this is the other one that we've never revealed before up here, so... Yeah, we've got this dirt road that comes up from the... Uh, ...school. And this is as far as we really worked on it, other than the actual, yeah, other than the actual entrance. So, here we go. Yeah, you can go even inside to show off. Needs an echo in here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, this is a uh, this is another boss location that we've not shown before. With plenty of room to be chased around and attack a boss and other players. Ooh. It's not been touched in a while. This actually because we've been focused on a lot of other stuff, but it's, it was put here because we knew this is what we wanted. I just imagine a lot more detail, like we got the other places of the map lootable areas and things and in the way and gore and blood and creepy things. Cave in the side of the mountain so it was a pretty pretty cool little thing. Yeah uh, if we can make everything as we want, I think there will be like six to eight spawn locations actually for the boss. Yeah that's what we're kind of aiming for. So we've got downtown, uh, school near residential, the cave, we've got uh, prison. Somewhere in the prison, yeah. Um, hospital, industrial. And the shop maybe too. Like the supermarket, market. yeah, if we can work out how we're going to do that. Um, loads of we, we have got loads of ideas, but a lot of them are going to probably spill over to a second map. But like I said, the, the the massive Titan attack on Titan type wall we've got around this area. This is like a super super bad danger zone for the monsters. So this is why it's been cordoned off, and we're kind of like mercenary monster hunters that's been sent in to wipe it out in this area. But we're kind of all against each other for the for the money and the bounty. So we're all kind of like fighting each other for it as well. Hence the sixteen player PvP VE, similar to Tarkov or Hunt. With massive inspirations from many games, survival games, miscreated, um, Tarkov, Hunt Showdown, um, Hell's, Nine. 
Hell Sign, if you've ever played that third person single player kind of spooky game. Got a lot of inspiration from that as well. Yeah, there's the wall. Look, see that? Uh, Tech on time type big wall around the outside. 